Hey guys, thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to show you another expansion of the previous abdominal core training videos that we did. In today's video I'm going to show you abdominal progressions where we're moving our legs in sort of what's known as a jackknife position. You'll notice a lot of people do this uh, with physio balls where they're, they're, they're planked here and they're using the jackknife, the, the physio ball, to crunch their knees in towards their, their stomach and then uh, elongate them out to do a plank position. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the various progressions of each move starting with the traditional plank. In the plank, you want to maintain the natural S bend of your back. Don't let your bum sag and don't raise it high up into the air. You want to be straight and strong from your arms, through your core, into your bum, all the way down your legs and towards your feet. Now let's say that gets too easy. Then you want to start getting into something a little more difficult. In this position that I was just at, we're balancing on four limbs. Now we're going to remove one of the limbs by putting one in the air and force the other three limbs to have to balance that unstable load. Consider the four points of contact during the plank. The left arm, right arm, left foot, and right foot. By raising one of them, the other three have to balance. You can also raise two at the same time. Here I'm raising both of my left side and now both on my right side. An easier version would be to raise your left arm and right leg or your right arm and your left leg. Then you can start getting into the jackknife positions. Let's take a look at this uh, shopping bag. This shopping bag is very slippery. What can that do for you? Well, let's take a look at it. What you're going to do is get yourself into a nice plank position, feet out on top of the bag, and now you're going to roll your knees in and then put them out. The jackknife move requires some rounding of the back, which means this should only be attempted when all of the other progressions have been met with proficiency. Another variation is to put one foot in the air and perform a single leg jackknife. This move is incredibly difficult and requires tremendous balance and strength through your entire core. When, once you start doing that, you can really feel in your abdominals, I mean your legs as well, but it's a core move. It works all of those muscles together <coughs> at the same time. And now for my final move, we're going to do a jackknife on a treadmill. While the treadmill is off, this belt has some manual resistance. It's not going to freely move like that shopping bag that just slides easily. You're going to have to put a little bit of energy into the belt to get it to move. This is a fantastic exercise. I have the push-up bars just so that uh, it makes it easier on my wrists so your wrists aren't flexed in the bottom position. Here's what you do. You take your uh, push-up handles. Brace yourself. Nicely on top of this on the floor. Brace yourself very well. This is important. You do not want to crash out in this position. You're going to pronate, you're going to lay your feet out like a plank position and you're going to use your abdominals and your feet. Boy, I actually slid too far. Well, you're going to use your abdominals and your feet to pull your knees in towards your tummy. And jackknife in. You can come over here, get even more range of motion. Yeah. 